Hey y'all, so um, we're just gonna go ahead and get ready today. And I was really inspired by a look that my friend was wearing the other day and I just realized I never even wore like the bold, bold shades in these palettes. Like I kinda did, but not really. So I kinda wanted to focus on some like colors like these. Like these hot oranges and stuff. I like wearing orange with this Star Wars t-shirt. It just kind of reflects like the orange on the red and stuff. It's just kind of fun. So, I'm just going to go ahead and get started. Um, to start off my crease, I'm going to go in with Unity right here. And I'm just going to... I'm actually using a big fluffy brush today just to start off with the crease. And... Just gonna start buffing this in. I've already primed my eyelids and set them with a powder, so we're good to go. This is gonna be a really simple eye look, so I'm just gonna pick up Sphere, this yellow right here. Now I'm going to start building up with the color Eden. I'm taking a little bit smaller of a brush here. And we're going to pick up Eden, which is this like really, really hot fuchsia shade. Not fuchsia, salmon. this flatter brush from Crown. It's a little bit fluffy, but really it's just like kind of like a packing brush. I'm taking Saturn and we're just going to um, put this all over. Actually, we're going to put this on the inner corner and the outer corner. We're going to do a halo eye today. I'm actually going to flip over that brush and I'm going to pick up Eternal. We're going to see how this goes. I don't remember this color picking up well on a brush. I could be wrong. I may end up having to pick it up with my finger instead. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do that. Now I'm going to pick up Sphere again and I'm going to start buffing out that top. kind of wish it's a little bit more vibrant in the middle. So I may end up going in with some Max Fix Plus here. Okay, so I'm going to take my Fix Plus and I'm just going to douse this flat shader brush in it. And then I'm going to pick up Eternal. We're gonna see if this pack it on a little bit more. I 
I'm gonna flip that brush over to the other side where we picked up Saturn. Picking up Saturn again. And then I go back in with Sphere, which is that yellow. I just go real briefly over the top. Now I have already primed my skin with my Dr. Prance, Dr. Brant, not Prant, <laughs> Luminizer Primer. And so now I'm just gonna go in with my tan mixture because I am still tan. So I'm going in with the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation in Fair with the two pumps. And then I do two pumps of the Too Faced Born This Way and Sand. I mix this together on the back of my hand and then I just dot my face and buff it all in. Or just get this process because you all have seen me do this a million times. So we can just go on with the rest of the video. <laughs> Then I'm just going to put on my concealer, which is the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in the shade Light, which still works for me even when I'm tan, just because it evens it out just a little bit and brightens. Or I could use a slightly darker one, but we're left with this. <laughs> translucent powder and I'm doing my usual bake on the center of my forehead and on underneath my eyes and then I will dust all this powder right up underneath everything else. Okay, now for bronzer, um, if I can ever find it, I'm using the number seven bronzer in caramel, which is this really pretty little shade. And I just go up underneath my normal spots on my face. And then buff it in. This is a very, very warm toned bronzer. So if you are darker or medium skin or tan, like me, then you can use it, but on you have to really be careful because it can go orange quick on you if you're any lighter. Okay, and for blush, I'm using my Tarte Blush Bazaar, and I'm going to go in with I can never get it open. <laughs> I'm gonna go in with Fortunate, which is this like pretty, like peachy shade in there. I almost wanna do like a monochromatic look. So we'll see, we'll see how this goes. highlight you already know I'm using the Marisi one because it's so good and it looks so good on medium to tan skin I mean this stuff literally looks so so glowy and yummy Now 
now that I've bathed my face in that, uh, <laughs> I'm just gonna go ahead and do my brows and then I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up the eyes. So what I'm gonna end up doing is picking up Sphere to start off with, just to buff in to that yellowy shade. And it's not yellowy, I mean it's straight up neon yellow. <laughs> So I'm just going to buff this underneath my eyelash. And now I'm going to pick up Eden, which is that burnt salmon color. Now I'm gonna pick up Saturn. And I'm just using the same brush that it comes with. I'm using that denser side. I'm picking up Saturn right where it meets with all the others. So I'm leaving that middle open. I'm gonna pick up one of these kind of brushes. And I'm gonna go in with Eternal up underneath. I'm gonna pick up Lucid, which is this white shade. I think it'll end up turning kind of pinky by the time we're done. I remember, I'm thinking of something else. I'm thinking of the subculture palette. This is like a white gold. And I'm just going to pack this on the inner corner. And now I'm going to put on mascara and then we'll be back for lips. Alright, and for lips, I'm just going to go ahead and use the Maybelline Clay Crush um, lipstick. Uh, I think this is from their Sensation Color Sensational co Collection. And while I really like this color with it, I'm gonna be a little extra here. I'm gonna put um, Makeup Revolution. I believe this is in the shade Love Nude. And I'm gonna put this on the very middle of my lips. To kind of like give him that dimension. And then I'm gonna go in and top it off with Anastasia Beverly Hills and Butterscotch. This is their lip gloss. This is the final look. It's very monochromatic. It's very orange. <laughs> it's very warm toned. Um, I just really got inspired by it once I saw my friend had done it. And, um, basically just wanted to reuse the Anastasia palette because I feel like I was using it there like hardcore for a while and then all of a sudden I just stopped using it because I had like so many other palettes and they were distracting me but I do want to go in back in and like use up some of these palettes that I'm forgotten maybe um, if you like this video please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you all next time bye